right. Josh Duggar reportedly remains in some sort of treatment for his sex addiction. His past as the executive director of the Family Research Council, of course, continues to haunt him. Here he is in 2014 rallying against gay rights. Take a look at this. This is not just about marriage. And as we know, marriage is between a man and a woman. And I'm honored to have been married to my wife for over five years. And we have three wonderful children. As I think about the beauty of marriage and God's design in that and the natural definition of marriage, I think about and I'm reminded of all of us who are people of faith, who hold strong and deep convictions in this area. Well, apparently his faith mm. conviction included uh, visiting a porn star. She tells E.T. that she had sex with Duggar while his wife was pregnant and that he wow. had paid her thousands to remain quiet. Wow. Now, a second mistress tells In Touch that she had a pregnancy scare with this guy, with Duggar, after having had unprotected sex with this married father of four. Oh. Well, he can't use a condom, Drew. Can't use a condom. It's anti-religion. <laughs> that must be against his faith. But uh, yes. the porn star, good. Uh, I, Ashley Madison, wow. good. Yes. Uh, uh, Sister, this, uh, here's the deal. This guy's got all the earmarks of sex addiction. This guy has had a long problem that his family's been in denial about. I actually made more angry with the parents and the family that kept this guy insulated from treatment, and it seems they're continuing to do so. He's been in some sort of faith-based tr treatment that will not be adequate for him. He needs real treatment. This, it's going to get worse if he doesn't.